Uh, welcome back to an episode of Greens. So, we have honestly many things happening in the world. Uh, the world has rapidly expanded and contracted and expanded again. It's all quite beautiful in my mind. Um, right now, though, um, we lost a couple of our alliances. They'll still, they'll still become friendly with us, which is good, but... I wish I really wish these guys would become friends with us. Is it because I have too many alliances or they have too many alliances? That's all I have to figure out. I think it might be because they have too many. But I'm just going to form an alliance with these guys. Because I know that in the long run these guys would be helpful alliance. So anyways, um we're going to start detracting some of our some of our friends that we used to have. Because I feel like some of them are kind of useless to us and wouldn't really pay off that much. I mean, we used to be really, really forced to restrict our alliances, but I really do think now with the new age and one second. Okay, so yeah, we just have to increase relationships with all these other people and we can gain a much more powerful, I feel like a much more powerful base than what we used to have. Um, in terms of the next great power, it seems like Bavaria is going to be it. But they're not really that good, and they're gonna probably not gonna last that long. We are just, like we said, we're just trying to find a good alliance that we can use to kind of help us out. Uh, Austria looks like it's probably gonna be ripped apart a little bit by two very weak powers, just because I think it's really, really like, uh, what's the word? Unstable right now, but I'm pretty sure they'll be able to jump back. Austria usually does jump back eventually. It's just, right now, they're having major difficulties, and, yeah. They'll jump back, guys. They'll jump back. Um, in terms of our alliance with, uh, British, the British, I don't think it's ever gonna happen again. In fact, we are looking like it will probably never happen again, but, you know, I'm kinda fine with not being allied with the British for a while. They kinda seem like jerks at the end of, at the end of, like, our friendship and stuff, so, you know. If they don't wanna be friends with us, that is fine with me. I mean, it's cool that we went different directions, and you know, if we don't also, we don't have we don't honestly have the same goals anymore that we used to. So, you know, it's good that they, you know, went a different direction. But at the same time, I really wish that the Ottomans would right now be ripping themselves apart so we could gain some land, land, baby, land. Uh, uh, but he, Austria is starting to get ripped apart a little bit by this little tiny power, which is kind of laughable, but kind of sad at the same time, because we kind of need him to be powerful. So, anyways, um, I think I think Italy is probably where we need to invest some points in, because I think they're going to be one of the new great powers in the world, because as you guys have always seen, um, they have cores on all of this stuff so I'm pretty sure that they're going to be like a new regional power in the world so we will we could probably get them in on our side we could probably gain a lot of stuff um so that's what we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to get these guys Italy on our side in our power and that way we can then use them to advance some of our goals but I think we honestly have enough men to kind of do advance some of our goals now that we have Oh, British Najed, they kind of freed these guys to free up their population space. Too late though, because French Africa is already formed. Hey, but they did free South Africa, which is good. Uh, Canada not free yet, but British Columbia is free. That's kind of idiotic a little bit, but yeah. Um, and the Ottomans in terms of power right now, we are still building up to their levels. But I feel much more like we could take them on in a one on one -y if we really had to. Um, definitely we could take on the Egyptians, which I kind of remember just now that they're in the sphere of the British, which we aren't anymore, so that would actually be a dangerous, 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 dangerous thing to do. So I probably won't do that, but what I think I will do, just because I kind of need the land, because I think I'm going to go for a Conquest Casas Belli against Serbia. And try to take like this part of Serbia from them. Because mostly because it has a uh, coal. Actually, wait, wait, what am I doing that for? We should go after Wachia. Wachia would be a much better place to do this. By the way, they, 
they have any kind of spheres, anyone really liking them, just to make sure, no they do not. So what we could do is go after what's here, take this so that we could gain some like whole provinces, and then from there maybe we could use that to uh, invade, the, invade the Ottomans again. Because everything we do in this game is just to invade the Ottomans. I mean, yeah, there's really there's really nothing else to be said. It's really what we use all of our time and effort in this game to do, is to try to figure out what would be the best way to invade the Ottomans. And I have a decent-sized army now. I'm in the top 16. It's mostly because I have no industrial power right now that I'm losing. But, um, I'm slowly decreasing all of my capitalist wealth. So my capitalists are starting to gain more and more money. So that maybe they can invest more of their money into factories. Which is kind of what I'm hoping is going to happen. More OG outputs. Let's actually get some railroads. Maybe they'll start investing in railroads if we get some actual railroads in our country. Uh, and we'll start sending in more of our men to go... Hey, we can actually keep these soldiers over here on this country. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We have a good enough amount of soldiers on our mainland to do stuff. But, yeah. Um, we're just waiting for... Um, some stuff to finish. Now that now that we can, let's see, Montenegro. Montenegro is not good enough to justify a war. Uh, this will cost us... Uh, relations are too high. Oh. Decrease. Okay. I was like, why can't I declare war? Oh, it's because I don't have enough. Okay. What we're going to try to do is, uh... Okay, well, they're doing some stuff with the Russian Empire. That's good. What we're going to try to do is... I can only do a conquest on them? Oh, okay, that's gonna be... That's insanely risky. I don't... I'm almost kind of backing out on that, because that's insanely risky. If we don't succeed in that, then we could possibly... Yeah, it would be... Mm, especially since I'm, like, hated by most people in the world, that would be insanely risky. Uh... Okay, maybe we'll wait a little bit on that before we go declare war again. So what we'll do in the meantime is just kind of like relax and look at our economy and make sure we stay in a good kind of economic situation. So let's see, we're going to build more railroads. Work. Let's work harder because we can't really work smarter right now. Okay, and we tick down this a little bit. Culture-wise, we can get some... Let's get some army stuff. So we can finally build some like army defenses. Well, we are building some defenses right now. Scandals is a scandal stands or free press. Let's get some more free press. I don't mind free press in the game because I I don't mind being a very liberalistic nation because wow, minimum wage is really wanting to pop up into the world. Uh, Tuscan nationalists are really starting to become an issue. Not necessarily one thing I really do like. In terms of factories being built, not many. And in terms of railroads being built, uh, we have absolutely no infrastructure. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Why do we have no infrastructure? This is so weird. Uh, why can't we not build any though? That's what I'm kind of wondering right now. Trouble is brewing. Oh, so an internal crisis with Poland makes everyone go. Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I think this is what we needed. <laughs> a lot of people are looking at me like, huh? What do you mean? Question mark. Because if they go to war, they're not obligated to join any other war at that time. So what we could do is, oh yes, yes, yes. This is the time, this is the time. This is the time, people. This is, this is it. While they're in the eternal crisis, okay, they're, they're gonna join that side, whatever, I don't really care. While they're in the crisis, I could totally use this to go and declare war on the Ottomans, who are stronger than they were, admittedly, but weaker at the same time. Divide up the men, send half of them over there, and you, you could see, guys, I've actually got a pretty powerful army now. Um. Let's see, we got still alliance with them. Who can we make some last minute alliances with? Uh, Italy. Still a sphere of them, so they probably wouldn't join in. Um, Persia, would you guys like to be in alliance? They would accept. Okay. 
Now that we got as much as we can of alliances, okay, they would probably help us a good amount. I wouldn't say like an insane amount, but a good amount to keep the Ottomans kind of pinpointed. Okay, let's get a quiet core, Western Macedonia. And just to be sure, I'm going to save right before we do this. Just in case if this all goes really badly, I want to make sure I save before we do this. Okay, so I'm, I'm hoping it's not going to go really badly, but we're going to find out. We're going to conquer West Francia. Gonna go in. Everyone says impossible. Wow, you guys are really all great alliance members. Uh, this internal crisis. How's the internal crisis shaping up to be, by the way? I'm guessing you guys are gonna join the UK. You guys are gonna join the UK? No. But I'm pretty sure the UK will not back down, so let's try it. Let's go. They cannot, they cannot go into any war right now, right? Am I correct? Holy shoot, they can go into war right now. Holy shoot, I might have just doomed my country. That stinks. <laughs> I didn't know that they could go into war right now. That kind of stinks. That really kind of stinks. Because I didn't... Oh, gosh. Well, then, we're just going to have to move fast. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. The UK. UK accepted a crisis from the... Oh, gosh. And then I've been distracted. Oh gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, if all else fails, I want to see what's going to happen with all this. Because <laughs> I'm probably going to uh, be annihilated here. But I want to see if I can at least try to strike big with, the, with these guys. I mean, French are probably destroying me down here. No, it's the Ottomans that are destroying me down there. Are they destroying me over here? No. Um... We, at the very least, at the very least in time, we took some of their land from them. Which is a good, happy continuum to be in. And we do have a good amount of army men to go crush different armies. Oh gosh. And we do have, we do have some technology so we can do some of this. Okay, yeah, we're destroying them. Okay, there we go. And we conquered everything we need to. We got the war target pretty much in the grasp. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, onward to Constantinople. Because I have no other way of doing anything else. <sighs> oh gosh. I might have ended, like I said, I might have ended. Just go down, stay down here. If they attack, I have an army moving in. Okay. Yeah, wow, the animations are suddenly stupid, but... Oh! Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Oh, yeah, that was a great battle right there. That was not a great uh, catch right there. Let's just go right here. Okay. We destroy all that army. Ooh, that was good. That was a good conquest right there. Okay. Combine all you guys for now. We'll send you guys after the Ottomans army. Combat width has been increased due to my militaristic taking down this. Okay, just keep. Try to destroy the Ottomans before they destroy us. There we go. Destroy another force. Destroy these guys over here. What? I don't know how we're losing this badly, but. But we are losing insanely bad. Okay. But that should honestly win, shouldn't it? Because they have no morale. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay. What the? We acquired the core and yet we cannot do anything. Defenders occupation, defenders blockades. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to stop the fantasy here. <laughs> We're going to. I'm going to rewind this, cause yeah. Okay, I'll see. I'll see you guys back before we start this war. Okay. Okay. Okay, we are back in time. So yeah, if you guys have, a, if you guys are like mad at me for doing that a uh, time skip or not time skip, you guys are mad at me for going back in time. Well. Uh, first of all, I didn't know that they could, like, still defend themselves during crises. I thought the crisis would give me, like, 
would give them like an invulnerability so that we could go in and go conquer them. Apparently not, so... Yeah, if I'd known that, I would not have done it, so... Yeah. Just... Just pretend it never happened, and we'll be happy campers if you do. So anyways, we are building up a new army. I'm going to dec decrease that. Let's build up a horseman unit. Decrease that. Decrease that, and build up a soldier unit. There we go. And I'm maximizing our soldier width and capacity. Apparently, accepted their terms. There's some kind of... Civil war going on. Austria got majorly divided up between Serbia. Serbia took a lot, but... Yeah, they're not gonna... I don't think they're gonna be able to keep that. That's gonna go away pretty quickly, but... Um, apparently Russia inherited all this, which was pretty cool. We got some honor liberals happening in Athens and Tunis. Insanely small, so not gonna be much of a problem. I'm actually gonna build more navy so I could support the men because I don't want to divide up this army right now because it's really good so let's just build a more of a navy and now our economy is actually starting to collapse after so much time so back to taxing the rich <laughs> <laughs> fixing the problem taxing the rich okay so we're taxing the rich again to keep up the uh, to keep up the soldiers morale I'm gonna get you on right here so that you don't like interfere with like making men. So that this new unit is just all by itself. It doesn't have to deal with different people interacting with it. And we can build a national bank again, but I'm not going to. And right now, in terms of our technological advancements, we are pretty much a really insanely taking down everything. Like now we're just starting to take down a lot of stuff, even though we don't really have um, a particular army to deal with. I think what I'm going to do is actually go send this new army that's being built to go fight them. Oh, as soon as I do that, they build. I build all my troops. Let's just go back here. Build all the troops. Okay. And... Okay, you get out of here. Because you aren't supposed to be a part of this military. Okay. Get all you, get over here, get laissez faire, okay, apparently they're not going in, go into Athens, there we go, okay, and now can we get this much, okay, that's, that's 9, 10, 11, there's 13 transports, okay, there we go, okay, we'll send you guys over here, whew, and we're gonna go bring down that stupid ultra-liberal revolution thingy, whatever. Okay, and I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that the, uh... Oh, it seems like Romania is starting to expand a little bit. Uh, they apparently went to war, I guess, against Washington, uh, and they're going to get destroyed. Wow. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. Because they should have been able to destroy them, but they were completely smoked, and... We have 51% militaristic power right now going for us, which is pretty nice. Uh, and now we can bring back our troops. Yeah, our, we are doing insanely well now. I, our army is doing insanely well. We got troops. We got men. We got forts going to be built here very, very soon. And we got... No, no, wait, don't forget the anti-military. Okay, there we go. And now we can just relax, Berman steel, oh, we got steel in our country, by the way, if you guys remember, because we did conquer that island. And we got all this. By the way, are we losing capitalists, by the way? Two have signed, two have signed. Yeah, there's still more capitalists coming than, there are, than we are losing them, which is good. That's the ratio we want. We want to be making, we want to be having just a little bit more capitalists than we would otherwise have. Which is the good part. In terms of Austria, Austria is going to be slowly recovering, I think. They're going to take a couple years to recover. It's going to be like Russia again. Like, Russia used to be, if you guys remember, they were one of the worst powers, and now look at them. Look at them. They have completely monster-sized into a world power again. 
quite impressively, may I add. And apparently the Ottomans are dealing with some rebel reactionaries. Not enough, apparently, to bring them down to the knees. I was hoping maybe that would happen, but... What? Sure! I, 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 I don't know when I became allied with France, but... Le France, but... Sweet! You got a big alliance with me now. Um, and apparently Austria ended their alliance with me? What? Why do you keep doing that, Austria? Ah. Well, actually, maybe I should accept it next time, because they seem to be losing against Poland, which is pretty sad. Ah, uh, but... Yeah, we are now friends with the uh, French, which... Would, I would love to say that the French have always been there for us, but... Yeah, I will have... This is kind of a big thing I have to all think about. It's all very new and exciting. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.